The first SeaWorld Park opened in San Diego on March 21, 1964, and quickly expanded to locations in Orlando and San Antonio. Since its opening, many animal rights activists have opposed SeaWorld's use and treatment of orcas, but the general public, adults aged 24 to 54, were unaware or unconcerned. The documentary Blackfish, Highlighting the Death of Trainer Don Brancho, aired on CNN on October 27, 2013, and in addition to a strategic Twitter campaign, it quickly brought SeaWorld and its treatment of orcas to the center of the public discussion. The criticism of SeaWorld has continued and grown since 2013. The general public, now aware and active, protested outside SeaWorld multiple times, and many people have decided to stop visiting the SeaWorld's parks with their families, causing a decline in ticket sales and stock prices. In an attempt to revive their public image and become more transparent, SeaWorld announced their new SeaWorld Cares campaign in March. On March 26, SeaWorld used their campaign to target their active publics by encouraging them to send in questions they had about SeaWorld through Twitter. Within 24 hours, the hashtag AskSeaWorld was used thousands of times, but the questions were not the ones SeaWorld expected. On March 27th, SeaWorld responded to the negative tweets in an unprofessional manner, calling users trolls and blocking anyone who sent in questions SeaWorld found offensive. Applying the Grunig situational theory, PR practitioners can more accurately plan their communication strategies if they know how actively their target public seek out information. The three ways to determine how active a stakeholder group are constraint recognition, problem recognition, and level of involvement. Because the general population was considered an active public, SeaWorld chose to use a platform they knew their publics were already using. The part of the situational theory that SeaWorld didn't apply correctly was to anticipate the kind of information the publics wanted to hear, rather than the messages that SeaWorld anticipated. Because of that, the campaign failed. The best solution for SeaWorld would be transparency, what they intended in the first place. SeaWorld should directly respond to the questions people ask even if they are hard questions to answer. By personally responding to the public's grievances, SeaWorld could have the opportunity to rebuild public trust and support. Other organizations can learn from SeaWorld's mistakes with these key takeaways. 1. If you're running a campaign to be transparent and build the public's trust, then it is important to anticipate what kind of information the public wants to hear. Plan to address that information first and insert the organization's messaging after. Two. If your organization started a campaign on Twitter, make sure that campaign is finished on Twitter as well. Redirecting people to a website only makes it harder for them to get engaged and communicate with the organization. 3. Never make fun of the public's trying to ask questions about your organization. The internet will always have trolls, and you can't expect everyone to think of your organization positively. <laughs> Can we have bloopers?